Hi, I'm David Pstansky for WhatCulture.com. I recently had the chance to visit the edit suite for the upcoming movie The Broken. Whilst there, I was able to see a taster of the movie and also have a sit-down interview with its star, Mark Harris. Am I on the screen? Yeah, you're Thank there. you, you're like my assistant director. Probably should be Shall my director. Be, uh, action! <laughs> okay, hello. I'm David Pstansky <coughs> from WhatCulture.com. I am joined by Mark Harris, who is the star of The Broken. How are you doing, Mark? Yeah, very well, thank you. Very well. Great. Just to begin with, could you tell us a little bit about the film, please? I wanted to show a story which wasn't taken. So if I took uh, Mr. Neeson yeah. uh, out, out of this and replaced him with a car mechanic yeah. and his little princess, because, come on, man, if you're a father out there, we all know Daddy's little girl is his little princess. And I've got a little girl, and she's my little princess, even though she's stopped giving me cuddles now, right? <sighs> She's fired. Anyway, um, and it's about this, this this guy that's struggling to make ends meet. He's come out of prison, and he wasn't in prison for something he actually done that either. You know, so he's a good guy. He finally does, you know, within all frustrations and I can't win. Trying and trying and trying. Yeah, he gets his chance, and he saves up, and they all work over time, and it's like a great happy family. And then they go to a holiday in Los Angeles, and the story begins. Now, you uh, wrote the story or uh, came up with the plot and then others wrote it? Is Yeah, what really happened is I'm not a writer, I'm dyslexic, yeah. as well as a drug addict and alcoholic, seven years clean, that mind you. Yes. But, so you can imagine if you try and read my shit, you can imagine what the writer <laughs> said. Yeah, oh, I got you. So a lot of my stuff comes through my hands and from my body and through me explaining to you my emotions. Yeah. Uh, but I wrote about 20 pages of the story and I wanted to see uh, a girl being taken from the eyes of the girl and what journey she goes on. What was it that drew you into this sort of like subject matter um, towards doing Yeah, this? I mean, clever point. It makes me feel like I'm a sufferer. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I think... It was just an interesting thing for me that no one has kind of shown it from that These young point. girls that go to Hollywood, they think they're going to be actresses, they do all these classes, but for a minority of them, they think they're going to be in music videos, they think they're going to do stuff and they're really nice girls, and they just got into the wrong car, man. Yeah. Because it's all about show business. All about show business. But is it? So I showed you Los Angeles from a great British boy and from... The, the real eyes of what can go on in 24 hours and what does go on. And everything I wrote about was true. Can I, can I ask, uh, yeah. what, what led you to actually want to do acting if, like, at this stage in your life? Because I'm a show-off, no. Right. Because I'll tell you what it is, right? Years ago when I was at school, I was a delinquent. Yeah. And I come from the ex council of state. <laughs> right? And anyway, which is all shit, that's made me today, that's made my character. So basically, when I was at school, and I went to school, and when I did go to school, right, this is a true story, you already finished, you've got compression now, yeah. right? I used to always get A plus in drama. I never took any other exam, I never used to go to school. And the school board back then, right, used to be waiting for you outside, like they were like, like they were mafia or something, you know? And uh, to come in and call them, and my drama teacher say, you leave him, you let him do his class, you want to speak to him, all right? And I'll do my class first. Fucking loved it. Well, you mentioned that you ended up by default as director. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about having done that now and like looking forward in terms of directing more? Do you, what did you get feel for it as you went along? And I kind of felt like an antelope on LSD, right? <laughs> I was like Beethoven on acid. Da -da 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 -da. It was like that. I was fucking enjoyed it. I loved it. Um, would I do it again? I loved it. Would I do it again? You know what? Ask me, would you ever drink or take a drug again? And I'd say to you a day at a time, yeah. Hi, what do you think? You've seen it. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I think it looks really great. And uh, I was uh, disappointed that we didn't quite get to see the, the action part come into it. But and the said, BAFTA goes to Newbie. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, was Sorry, like, it was you cut us off just in the point where I want to see the rest now. And there is some serious shit, but what I've yeah. done with it, right, there's paedophilia, there's all sorts. And... Uh, what I've done with it, I don't show you nothing. So if you're listening to this and you're watching this and you're saying to yourself, I don't want to see that shit, you don't see it, man. Yeah. But I'll take you on a little ride. And hopefully when you leave, um, I hope it does get cinematic release, I hope it gets, you know, seen. It will be emotional for you. 
Well, I'm going to put odds on women especially. Yeah. If you don't cry for our man, if you don't cry at the end, I'm coming round to give you a tenner personally. One last question yeah. I'll ask you, without obviously knowing the future and taking things day by day, if you had like an aim for like a goal of how you want to either be regarded as an actor or what kind of roles you want to do going forward, what would you say? I love thoughts? emotional roles, but I think first things first, let's hope that we can work well in Britain and I'd like to be known as, as you know what mate, you've done well over the years and you're a good actor here. I'd like that. Just someone to say, well done. I wouldn't like to be famous. I'd like to be known as someone that was alright. And you never know, I might get run over out there tomorrow, be a hero on this film and go, yeah, I made that motherfucker. But, you know, the best of British. Yeah, great. Well, thank you very much, Mark. Thank you very much. Thank or you. one of them. Thank you very much, mate.